Okay, so now we're going to set up and put the double action flag kit assembly on. You'll notice I have the piece parts out here. It's a real simple setup. You start by taking the detent bezel, the adjustment arm, and make sure the adjustment arm has the detent on the adjustment arm going towards the clip. Just like that. We then take our flag kit and our flag. Your flag needs to be in the orientation like this of the board. We take the top bezel, load that on. Our screw system, notice our screw system has a top bezel, a spring, and a screw. Load right inside this hole. And then you want to make sure that you find the pre-drilled hole that centers everything. Give this some tension. And that, I'm going to need just a little bit of love for. And I'm going to put enough tension on this so that I can easily move this, but not so much tension that I stop the free, free movement of the flag. Now, you're going to see a small little uh, eye hook. I like to run my hooks to the bottom. You're going to put that in and use your needle nose or your fingers, either or. I typically just grab it with my needle nose. And I put her in about like so. So, so far we have our flag system, it's adjustable. I'm going to take my spring arm. Just put it in the ring. And while I do that, I'll put my clip on there as well. Make that easier. Now I have the bead to the front. Run that through. And I'm going to clip that right in this hole on the top. I'm going to add my spring, my spring tension right here, start there, and I'm going to bring it right into, this is a tricky one, I'll tell you what, do it the other way, it might be just a touch easier. Hard to, hard to see this with my large hands, but get that spring in there like that, and then put it in the small hole on the bottom. If you have big fingers, you might ask your wife or girlfriend to get it inside there. You'll notice how that clips in now. Now, as a fish bites, so it's pulling your double action flag back. Add tension. We click down, and now we have more tension. Say you're pulling a crankbait today, now you have a lot more tension. Crawler harness, we just click this back. Now our board is ready to go. A couple other boards that you might be interested in. Our Super Planer TX44. This one has a similar setup. However, you put the pin on the bottom, and you'll notice the same flag kit, except with this, we have a tension wire. Same setup, same spring design, same tension mechanism, except in this one, we actually use a wire instead, just a little cable. You'll also notice that I have another board that's all set up, and I want to show you just a small, significant difference here. This board has the same flag cap, except it's been adjusted to our rough water setting. Notice how the weight on this board is in the forward position, and the weight on this board is in the far back position. If you can zoom in there, you'll see the difference. What this does is it changes the orientation of the board in very rough water. You'll notice on this board, we just have this standard 
a pinch clip on the tow arm. This part has a little different clip. This is, this is our clip for lock tensioning. So you just put your line in here and the lock jaw is just set like that and the line is set in place. Still do the same thing. You hook your line through here and into your clip. But with this in the back, the ride is just a little different. The water's still very balanced. However, it'll ride just a little bit with the nose higher for rough water conditions. This board is meant to be brought right to the boat. And unclip the lock jaw like that to release the line. Pull this off and fight your walleye. Hopefully that helped you today. And now you know what us walleye fishermen do on blow days. Have a great day.